Hey everyone, it's Cole from A Plus Power Sports. I'm gonna show you guys how to use the Ride Command account and actually map out a trail for your trail ride on the weekend and then go to your sled and send it to the sled so you can actually have a map in front of you you made on your phone. It's a really easy process to do, but it takes a little bit of just practicing with it. So it's gonna help you guys just to see how it is done. All right, in this video, we're gonna focus on how to plan a ride or map out a ride. So it'll give us turn-by-turn -turn instructions, and then I'll show you how to download it and put it into the snowmobile. So let's go to where we wanna start at. Let's say we're riding in, I don't know, Rhinelander this weekend. We'll click tools, plan a ride, click snowmobile. We need to pick a starting point. So we're gonna start, I don't know, on this side of town here, click start, and you just choose where you want to ride to. You're not able to go a long distance at one time for planning out to ride. Um, you need to do it step by step a little bit. So like one jog at a time. So we're going to go up to this corner here. We'll add that and give it a second to see how fast it automatically goes and finds the shortest route. We're going to keep heading out to this side of town and let it do its thing. Give it a second, it'll be a straight line. It might take up to 30 seconds if you really are going a long distance at one point, but let it get its squiggles through the actual corners on the trail. We'll go back and we're gonna drop over in this point. Then you can say, you know what, for gas, we need to go to this gas station over here. Or food, either or, it gets you close enough. And we're just doing a big loop back to where we started. Let's try it, we're gonna see if we can go that far. And loop us back into town. See, it's a straight line. Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, we went through all the corners. Now we click add, and we're gonna save this as a route. So I'm gonna name it. We're just gonna say loop one. So that's saved now, just kinda click off it. And when you hit the save button, it's gonna load it into my phone. And you can do some cool things like 3D flyover. We don't need that. You can share it with people. You could click the little share button um, and it gives you details about the ride as well. Your distance, minimal elevation, just kind of cool stats on it, but not a big ride we're doing that day. So loop one, now you go into the rides and you see it saved right there. So you can click on it. And if you don't wanna see it on your phone when you're looking at it, or it's too difficult to maybe map out if you're going in a similar direction, hit the little eyeball and it shuts it off. You can turn it back on. And then once you get to this point, go watch my previous video on how to connect your Ride Command phone to the Ride Command on your snowmobile, and it'll automatically pop up and you guys can ride away and have a turn-by-turn -turn instructions, or directions I should say, on where to go. All right, now that we have our loop one made on our phone, we wanna go to the sled in the morning and download it so we can have turn-by-turn -turn directions. Um, we go right into our general settings and our Wi-Fi. Our other video, it shows how to hook this up, but we're using our Bluetooth hotspot. For more details on it, how to do all this part, watch the previous video. We'll add a link for you guys. But it should lo log itself in. It was there, and now we're connected. So we're gonna go back to general, our ride command account. Couple different ways to do it. We can just turn on the little sync, turn it on and off. But I find that that's not always the fastest way to do it. I will go back to our map area. At the bottom, click on rides and places, and find your routes and then hit transfer. It should last sync just now. It should be in here now, under routes. There it is, loop one. And I have the eyeball on it right now. That's the default, it's always gonna show it. If you don't wanna show them all, make sure you shut, up, shut them off. Um, but now I'll see turn by turn directions on where to go and it's stuck on my screen. All right, that is how you plan a trip or ride on your Ride Command app on the cell phone, connect it to your wide Ride Command screen, and then be able to use it the next day or that day to go on a turn-by-turn -turn, um, ride and 
is basically using a true GPS at that point. Um, if you guys have more questions about this, I have another video like I had talked about before, but it goes through how to connect your phone, how to get the Wi-Fi to work, and the different types of screens there are, and that'll probably answer most of your questions. But if you guys have questions that you need answered, feel free to call me or leave a comment in the section below. But if you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you wanna see what inventory I have in stock right now, check out aplusride.com. Thanks for watching.